Right, this has the real potential to be my shortest ever video. Uh, some of you have seen uh, that I used this a couple of uh, weeks ago on Dartmoor. And some of you may also have seen a video by Chad on burning this and comparing it to the uh, 1210 stove. This of course is the Starlight stove. Well I've posted a photograph on my uh, Facebook wilderness page which you can go along and like. And on it I had taken off this top uh, simmer ring or suppressor or whatever you want to call it and uh, I just took a picture and I think it was John um, and Fast Couch, which I think are the same person I'm trying to keep up with my lovely subscribers so excuse me if I uh, make errors there but I'm pretty sure it was uh, John uh, asked me to do a video and I thought well as I can do this one really quickly let's let's do it now, I think when Chad removed it, he must have twisted this here because it's in two parts and the, the top came off. Well, I tried to do that myself and I must admit mine is well and truly stuck on. So I don't feel too inclined, I must admit, to break the seal even though I could glue it back. So what I did is if you, obviously I've just got a spoon here, but you don't need anything that's blunt. If you just uh, slide the ring back a little bit and then just put a spoon or something underneath it and you need to try and go in but oops maybe try this side yeah that's better it's only a second time I've done this and then you can just easily prise that out and then as you'll see from Chad's video you could then just pour it in and of course that the whole area will burn rather than having that in and of course you just get a smaller area burning and you can see from when I've used it which is just a couple of times so far of course the middle bit is burnt and the outer bit isn't because the flames couldn't reach there and then to put it back in again, if you want to, to save, you know, uh, gluing it and ungluing it, is if you sort of fold it in ever so slightly, and then with a little bit of jiggery pokery, you can fold it back in like that. So I think the easiest way to take it out. is just to lever it out like that. Probably once it's loosened off a few times it'll come out very easily as the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> it's a bit too early in the morning for my two blonde tendres. So that was just a, a quickie video on that and I hope that's of uh, interest to John and Chad and, and anyone else and thanks for watching. I'll use my spoon for a cup of tea now. Catch you again soon. Bye!